Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Welcome, my wonderful Aquarius. How are you guys doing today? I am doing your weekly reading for the week of, let's say, April 1st to April 7th, maybe. Okay, that's the energy that we're going to tap into. Some of these videos may overlap because I do not believe that the universe is bound by time. Okay, I believe energy is fluid. So whenever you click on this video is when it is for you. So you want to take what you need and leave what you do not. This may not resonate with everybody. So I am doing the sign of Aquarius for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus, my wonderful ones. Also, I also started doing 11-11 messages from your angels and your guide videos. So you want to check that out where I am offering... Um, 10 minute readings for $11.11 .11, okay guys um, those are messages from your guys readings so you just want to go ahead and check those out they're definitely about 11 minutes and some change they're not over definitely past 11 minutes so they're definitely um, 11 minutes and change those videos and you just want to check them out for any messages that may resonate with you okay all right my wonderful Aquarius we're just gonna go ahead um, and we're going to thank our guys, our angels, our ancestors, all of the higher energy that's here to help our highest positive good. We're going to thank them for clarity, for understanding, for divine wisdom, divine timing, um, clarity. Um, we're just going to thank them for the strength to do what needs to be done and to take action, okay? Um, if you're an empath um, or a light worker, you need to be mindful um, that there is a lot of healing energy in the atmosphere right now, especially if you are on a, uh, in Aquarius, okay? And the reason why I say that is because you guys operate in the vibrational path of I know. So you really want to trust your knowingness um, as we transit through airy season, okay? Trust that part of you that knows. You guys are all about your thinking um, spiritually and mentally. So you want to tap into that spiritual part of you. Okay? Trust that spiritual part of you is what I'm hearing. All right. So if you do not, if you do not or have not watched any of my videos, I pull two chakra cards uh, weekly and we tap into um, what energies you may need to know about those chakra using a second deck to clarify. Okay, guys. I am a level two Reiki healer. I don't know if I said that in the beginning. If I did or didn't, I'm repeating myself. I am a level two Reiki certified energy healer. So I deal de definitely mainly with the seven major chakras in your body. Um, and I like to help bring people into alignment and balance, okay? Now, you will be hearing me talk a lot about your chakras in these videos. So just be mindful about that. Some of this information may be repetitive. Uh, a repetitive. I don't even know if repetitive is a word, by the way. I do fuck words up every now and then, so you're going to have to get past that. And I do curse sometimes. So you're going to have to get past that also. If you can get past all of that and just tap in on the messages that's coming forth, I'm sure um, hopefully something may be uh, beneficial or may vibrate with you, okay? Um, first up on the board, guys, you have Quest, which is a throat chakra energy. And you have disp uh, disp disp Despondence. Okay, which is a third eye chakra energy. Now, guys, you need to be mindful, right, that life is all about the journey. You are to take the mistakes that you may have missed the last time and apply them this time around. You are not to get stuck in your past mistakes, okay, um, or get stuck in any lower vibrational energy that's trying to keep you bound right now okay um the earth is definitely vibrating at a different frequency right and you are definitely changing as an energetic being which means that a lot of stuff that you excuse me a lot of stuff that you may have given your attention to you no longer need to okay so the quest or 
the throat chakra is how you express yourself. How are you expressing yourself now? Are you expressing yourself with a dark and negative point of view? Or are you expressing yourself with a more positive outlook on life? Okay. The quest is all about going within and discovering self. What is your truth about self? What is your truth about how you view the world? What is your truth about how you view your relationships? Now, because my wonderful Aquarius, we are in Aries season. Aries rule your first house, which is all about your personal self. How do you see your personal self? How do you want the world to see you personally? Okay? So this will be a really good time to go on that quest and reevaluate yourself. I do feel like some of you may come into a hermit mode where you're kind of shutting down, right? You definitely want to pay attention to your third eye chakra and like, what are you getting mad about? Pay attention to where you're directing your energy and getting mad about. You do need to surrender to some things, okay? There is a surrendering um, taking place. It's not about what you think you know so much on a materialistic physical level my wonderful Aquarius um, that you've experienced before this is more about you <clears throat> tapping into that spiritual level about what you truly know on a deeper level the things that you can't explain but you just know that you know that you know those are the things that you want to examine as you're going through this quest and examine really what are you getting mad about just surrender to the things that you can't yeah. Surrender to the things that you can't control and master the things that you can. Okay. You got some night of fire energy that just popped out on the board to clarify your um, throat chakra as well as your um, throat eye chakra. Okay. So whenever you see fire energy, fire energy is all about your intuition, okay? And the night of fire is all about being maybe too, this is fast moving energy, okay? Um, that's, a, that's like taking action. This could also be, this can also be attraction, adventure, maybe, you know, being too impulsive, Okay, this can also maybe if you're operating in the lower vibrational end of this, you're too hasty, feeling like things are being delayed, right? Delay doesn't always mean denial, though. Sometimes you're just being saved from shit and you just don't even know what you're being saved from. Yep, look at that. You're going through transformation, my wonderful Aquarius. Okay. But it's kind of feels like some of you got like a relationship on your mind. Some of you got like a relationship on your mind, like a childhood fantasy type relationship with healing and just feeling like this person brings, this person brings a sense of nostalgia, like childhood memory. It brings you back to a place of innocence. Okay, my wonderful Aquarius. Um, that's like um, in your fifth card placement. That's all about change. So first of all, let's just start with the energy that's on the board. That's grounding the chakra energy that we need to get into. And as I'm talking to you guys, there's a tightness in my um. There's a tightness in like in my um. My solar plexus and your solar plexus is responsible for what's on your mind. This card represents what's on your mind. So with this night of fire energy on the board, that's intuitive energy. That's all about um, passion. That's all about maybe lust, attraction, um, adventure, forgiveness. Um, I'm sorry, adventure, maybe being impulsive, um, fast moving energy, just being too hasty, maybe even scattered energy. Maybe even feeling like things are delayed and uh, feeling frustrated about it. But you have to be mindful. But things can be delayed because you're moving too fast. You're not allowing things to unfold. Okay? This can also be lustful energy. You're lusting, off the, you're lusting after something. Okay? But that can also be passion. Like, um, you know. So you choose which one of those spectrums you're vibrating on Aquarius. You do have, like, um, coming in, you do have um, the three of earth coming in. You got guidance coming in, guys. So guidance is maybe you have um, creative projects that you're working on where you're collaborating with people, okay? 
the three of earth can also be initial fulfillment, you know, learning new things or learning how to deal with things in a new way, okay? Um, learning how to use your intuition also could be what's coming forth, okay? You have another fire card on the board clarifying that you got the king, uh, the king of fire. King of fire is about being a natural born leader. This is all about entrepreneurship, okay? This is all about honor, okay? Yep. You got to pay attention to the lower vibrational energy about that too. Maybe having too much of high expectations for people. Um, being, once again, hear that being too hasty, that hasty energy, being too hasty. In your second card placement, you got isolation on the board, which is three of ear. Ear is all about your thinking again. So, like, it's okay. So, some of you are still tied to that rejection and that pain. Like, whatever has been causing you pain, it's really time for you to forgive, though. It's time for you to forgive and for you to let shit go. Because you do have the, um, the page of rainbow on the board. When the page of rainbow pops up, the page of rainbow, guys, this is all about you being able to manifest shit. Even a new job, job opportunities coming in. You can't cry over spilt milk, right? Because you have the three of air on the board. You're going to have to be optimistic about stuff, especially if it has to do with job situation. Okay. You got the page of um, Earth coming in here. Page of Earth is telling you manifestation is here, so you can really heal all of this stuff if you just let shit go. Yep. Whoop. You got a major kind of card. You got judgment on the board. So things are being called into judgment. This is all about rebirth. This is about the inner calling. Right? Then I, it kind of felt like I, um, entrepreneurships are being created. Entrepreneurs are being created in this season. You're going to have to see past illusion. You're going to have to get past self doubt. Okay? You're going to have to examine yourself. Okay, guys? Now, in your third card placement, guys, this is letting go. This is eight of water. Now, we know water is all about your emotions, okay? You're going to have to let go of things. Um, whatever disappointments that you feel you may have went through, you're going to have to let go of the disappointments. You may have to withdraw internally for you to gain the healing that you need to do, right? You may have to walk away from certain situations, too. Some of you may feel hopeless, but that's because you need to let go of shit. Stop holding on to... And then on top of the Eight of Water, you have the Eight of Rainbow, which is like the Eight of Pentacles. Okay? This could represent apprenticeship, education, you know, like a quality. This could represent engagement. So we're having these two eights. First of all, eight represents new beginnings, just in numerology, right? That's just one of the things that they vibe, eight vibrates on, right? So now you have eight, eight, right? So even if you're doing eight, um, eight, eight, so eight plus eight is 16, right? And then you have seven, so it's still vibrating like on divinity, right? Divine order. So you have to know that once you let go, everything that you've been going through, all of the disappointments that you've had to go through, shit that you feel like you've had to walk away from, my wonderful Aquarius, know that that was like an apprenticeship. Like you had to go through that shit to get where you are. It was like fun. Even though it was painful, it was like it was for your own good. You needed to you needed to go through this. All of this was to get you to where you needed to go. Okay, and that's the that's the right now shit that you, some of you may be coming into awareness of. Then in your fourth placement, which I like to call your alchemy placement, you got transformation on the board too. So transformation is kind of like the uh, the death card, and this is like the Scorpio card. I'm a Scorpio, so. Um, the death card is not a bad card to have. The death card just means that you're going to be rebirthed. It's like dying to old shit. Endings and beginnings. Change is happening. Transformation is happening. Okay? Transition is happening. Transformation is happening. Shit is taking place. Okay? This can also mean that you're resistant a little bit to change. So you have to be open to change. Okay? Some of you, if you're unable or feel stuck, like you can't move from shit, and you're holding on to the past, you're not letting go of all that em that 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 emotional baggage. You know, you're gonna have to let that go. Okay? Because um, um, with this transformation coming in, all of the the regret. 
just know, yep, this six of air is clarifying that all of the regret, all of the burdens, everything that you've had to go through was necessary. It was might have been painful, but it was necessary. You can't move on with carrying these baggage. You're going to have to let this shit go, my wonderful Aquarius. Okay? You're going to have to let this shit go. You're going to have to let it go. There's, there's no way around this. Yep. Look. You got the five of fire coming in. Now, fire is all about your intuition. So you're going to have to let go this this um, disagreement, this tension, this internal conflict. You're going through transformation. You have five coming in. The five of fire coming in, which is um totally letting go. You got to surrender. Okay? That's in your fourth card placement, which is the alchemy placement. You're going to have to fucking surrender. That This goes back to your third eye. How are you seeing things? How are you using your imagination? What are you getting mad about? Fucking surrender. Okay? In your fifth card placement, you have six of water, the dream. Now, this is all about, like, nostalgia, reunion, maybe somebody coming in from the past, somebody that you know from the past coming in and you're being reunited, reunited with them. Maybe bringing back some childhood memories, um, some emotional memories that take you back to your childhood um, that may need healing, okay? Um, this is taking you back to a place of innocence. Um, healing energy is definitely in the atmosphere regardless because we have Chiron and Aries and Aries once again represents your first house which is all about your personal affairs your person you personally okay um, so you're gonna have to be patient as you do this emotional work okay because you have the seven of rainbow popping up this is all about a new vision this is all about perseverance this is all about you um, being rewarded for the time that you're going to be putting into this change especially change with the way that you view um, I want to say you view love you view things because this six of water represents like a reunion somebody coming back in okay this can also represent you being stuck in past hurt okay you're being stuck in the past you're being unrealistic Okay. You're going to have to be patient with yourself. Yep. Yeah, there's definitely something from the past because now you have. Yep. Now you have past lives popping up. So you have the moon popping up, right? You're going to have to deal with your emotions and bring those into balance. You're going to have to see past illusions when it comes to love, especially as you're on this quest and you're expre expressing yourself, my wonderful Aquarius, okay? Whatever past stuff that has you viewing, um, viewing things where you're really arguing and stressing over and fighting over things that you don't need to, you're going to have to surrender to those things, Okay? You're going to have to. You're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to release. Okay. When this past life, this past life pops up, this is a moon card. This is your subconscious. This is your fear. This is your anxiety. This is about being able to release, so you can come into a place of um, positivity and vitality and experience the things that you really desire to experience. My wonderful Aquarius. Inner work is always how you're going to get the manifestation for the things that you want. I like to call it the, tr the holy trinity of manifestation. And what you feel with your heart chakra, what you express with your throat chakra, and what you see with your third eye chakra. Now, at any point in time that you are out of balance in any of these chakras and you're not working with all three for manifestation, your heart chakra is going to trump all things to manifest things. So if you're speaking with your mouth, I want a healthy relationship, but you are feeling with your heart, I don't deserve healthy relationships and you're going to um, attract unhealthy relationships because your heart chakra trumps everything else this is why you need to get all of your four higher chakras vibrating properly so they can master the lower chakra meditation is key my wonderful Aquarius spend some quiet time to yourself Make sure you love yourself. Make sure you honor yourself. Make sure you drink plenty of water, my wonderful Aquarius, and meditation. All right? I will see you in next week's reading. Make sure you check out your 1111 messages from your angels video. I am offering 10-minute readings for a donation of $11.11. You can check out all the information in the link below. And I will see you guys in next week's reading. Okay? Do something kind for yourself, guys. Bye.